Well hello and welcome to the channel. My name's Tell, this is Tell's Bench. Today we'll be looking at JBL 650 BT headphones which I've owned for about four years. So before we get started um, I'd like to just say though what we're going to do today can apply to any headphone that's got a rechargeable battery in it. It may not be the same size battery, it might be a slightly different rating, but all headphones that I've got rechargeable batteries in, I've got a battery located in one of the sides of the headphones. It'll either be in the left or the right, but it'll be usually where the charging port appears. And the basic principle is you get the battery out, so you have to remove the cup, and then you have to disconnect the existing battery and put the new one in. Not really that difficult, is it? But what you've got to do before you do this operation, if your headphones are working already, and you want to continue using them but you know your battery is getting weak then you need to go and identify which battery it is first and order it and you can do that by searching on the internet and then you know finding the replacement item ordering it and once that arrives then you'll be able to open up the headphones and you know go ahead and put the new new battery in and then test it so although what we're working on today may not be the particular headset that you've got the principles are exactly the same so let's get on with the video and I really hope you enjoy it. Well, I do about 30 to 40 miles a week walking and I, I use these and they're supposed to deliver continuous service for 30 hours between charges. So I can go for most of the week, depending on how many, how many miles I walk, if not all of the week, uh, with just a single charge or at least five days anyway. Uh, but recently what I found is that this is bombing out on the second walk. So I'm only getting around about two hours service out of the battery now. So I bought a new battery for it, which is a lithium polymer battery. So the original battery that was fitted to this will have, will have been a lithium iron. So the lithium polymer might not have the same longevity as the lithium iron, but at least it won't burst into flames, although it hasn't done that in four years. So I think it's probably safe. But anyway, that's, that's why I chose and we'll see how that goes. And so the idea today is to try and service this by replacing this battery. Now I don't know how difficult it's going to be to do this because I've never taken one of these apart. I've had other earphones apart before now but not these. Um, each one I think probably has its own little challenges. I'm really going to guess about <laughs> which side the battery's in but I'm going to get this side because that's where the charging port is. So that's the cap that I want to take off. Now I've looked this up uh, but it appears that you have to take this off on this side first and then there's a couple of screws up there and there's some screws inside here so it's supposed to be not too bad so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to try and first get this cup off here now to do that you need something thin so I nicked this out of the kitchen uh, which is a paring knife so it's quite thin and I'm hoping I will be able to get this cup off without injuring myself in any way don't try this at home folks <laughs> or do if you want just be extremely careful so it's a bit it's a bit tricky but i think uh i just need an in all i need is an in oh i nearly got it nearly got it going in for the corner there right okay i think maybe where the corner is here right i'm gonna go back in and try and get that one out i've nearly got it in okay yep it's happening it's happening for me yeah okay so uh, i think i can Right, okay, yeah, so that's not too bad actually. Not too bad at all. There's the other one. And just like everything else, uh, the first time you do it, it's not as easy as you thought it was going to be. But I managed to get it off in the end, and uh, there you go. There it is. You've got two clips up there and two clips down there. It's relatively okay, intact, so that's a win. Now we've got these little uh, tiny little Phillips screws here. There's one there, one there, and one there. But we've also got these two screws up there. These screws here, yeah, these are actually a triangle key, which I don't have uh, in that size. But I've got this tiny little 1.5 or 1.4 millimeter screwdriver there. So I'm just going to use that because that seems to fit between the two corners of the triangle. So I'll just stick that in the drawer temporary drawer there. Get the other one out. Try not to lose these. Luckily this is a uh, magnetic screwdriver so it's uh, quite handy really. 
Now I need to change to a very small Phillips screwdriver. Maybe something like that. Don't know. Yeah, we'll try it. We'll try it. It may not be small enough, actually. They're very, very small. Yeah, well, it's the smallest one I've got, so we're going to have to try it. So let's try and take it out. That's coming out, so that's good. But when I look at that, actually, it's not really a fit, but it does go in there. Okay, so let's uh, stick that in that compartment there. So you need a small screwdriver kit, basically, to get in here. So if you haven't got one of those, you might struggle. That's the somebody that you know that's got one. Like your dad or a friend or something. Right, so we've got all of these out. Now, uh, next thing to do is to try and take this cup off. I'll try and leave the, wed the knife wedged in there. Nope, not having it. Right, I know this will come off. I know it will come off. I trust in myself that this will come off. I might end up cutting myself though. But it will come off. I will make it come off. I'm not that fussed about whether the, the, the plastic gets too scratched or whatever. Because uh, as long as it doesn't break, then I'm not too bothered. Because it is four years old, so it's not like it's a brand new one. There we go. There we go. Right. I think we're there. I think we're there. Right, so I need to be very careful with this. There's not much space here. So there's my battery here, my new one. So if I put a, uh, a marker on this to say this is the bad battery so I don't get mixed up in my mind. Here's the replacement. So this is lithium polymer. But it's supposed to be okay. So what they've done is they've uh, they've made sure that the wires are pre-tinned. So that means we don't have to add any more solder onto them to tin them before we actually solder them into position. So the three leads come in from the back tree are black on the left, so that's ground, uh, and the thermal protection in the middle, and lastly the red positive voltage. Yeah, we've pretty, pretty much got the same thing. So it's, yeah, it's just like for like. So it's black, yellow, red. So all we need to do is turn the soldering iron on now and get that ready. The new one can't deliver quite the same level of charge, but it should work fine. Yeah, I need to get that sticky pad on the bottom of this. So I don't know if we can get this pad off, whether it will be sticky enough to stick, re-stick. You never know, it might work. We'll try it. Now I'm going to stick it on there. It looks as if it's going to work yet. Yeah. Let's just do it. Let's just do that thing. I'm not going to mess about. I'm not going to mess about with any charging tests or anything. I'm just going to put it in and try it. See if it charges. I'm going to put a different tip on my soldering iron because this is too big. I can smell the wood burning on my bench where I put the other one down. But I don't care. It's only old wood. It will be fine. This should be better. This should already be tinned. So, let's see if we can just get these off. Should be fine. Right, let's see. Out of the way. So, they've added these little tapes at the end of the wires, uh, and that's really just to stop them shorting together uh, during transit or storage. So, solder in the black, and now the white, which is the thermal protection, and then we'll finally solder in the red. All right, now, so we need to uh, clean this up a bit with some isopropyl alcohol. So I'm going to spray some of that on there and then brush it around to get off the flux. And then we'll pop the uh, the cap back on and uh, take it from there. Snap it back into place. Okay, I don't know whether you can see the little red lights come on, which is a good thing. That means it's working. Okay, so now it should be just the case of reassembling the last stage, which is, you know, putting the screws in really. Uh, once that's done, then uh, you can leave it on test overnight. I'll 
charge I should say overnight I then see how it fares tomorrow and I'm sure it'll be fine but we'll see I wish I was able to listen to my music while I was doing this and talk to you at the same time that would be nice okay right so I guess we know it's charging because we can see it's charging so I'm going to take the charging out so it stopped charging now uh, now what I want to do start the pairing process so as you can see the light is uh, it can't pair at the moment because uh, yeah it can't pair at the moment because there's nothing to pair to so that's obviously working so I'll put it back on charge and leave that overnight and I think that will be fine some time has passed okay so it's the following evening I've put it on charge last night all night uh, and I got up at seven o'clock this morning and I paired it to my mobile phone uh, it paired straight away no problem and I put some music on and I left it playing for seven hours I didn't take any phone calls it was just sitting there doing nothing really but with my phone volume turned down so it wasn't on full volume you could you could argue that yeah uh, it was in the other room though so I couldn't hear it but yeah it went went through and, and, and played for for seven hours and it was blurting out music you know when I turned the volume back up again seven hours later so really for me to to do to do four days that's that's going to be about eight hours charge something like that four or five days depending on how far I walk which is going to be good enough which should be well inside the scope of the battery fair enough it's a 610 milliamp instead of 700 i don't know how this this import chinese battery is going to work even if we say it's half the 30 hours 15 hours should get me through a whole week quietly confident that it's going to work i uh, hope that it doesn't bomb out on me because if it bombs out on me i know that it's probably a, a rubbish battery i hope you enjoyed the video if you did you will give me a like and uh maybe subscribe even with that being said I will see you next time. It's gonna be alright.